You ever love somebody so much that it it's toxic? Like the more you do it, the more you like it, but in the end, it's just harming you. Hey guys, this is your reading for August 22nd through September 22nd, and this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is for a month out, okay, definitely not taking all those cards, but I do see the King of Cups here, the sideways, and I see the Devil on top. So I feel like there is a strong codependent relationship um, that you feel for somebody, but or either somebody feels for you. But this is all about um, unhealthy attachments or unhealthy behavior even, okay, on an emotional level. Something that ended, but I feel that it, it's still very present on your mind and... Um, a decision that was made either by you or maybe a Scorpio with somebody with that type of energy, that Mars energy, um, has done a lot of thinking about this and is really kind of reconsidering a decision that was made previously, okay? Or somebody has already made a decision. Um, but I don't feel like this decision has been made yet. I feel like this is what's on the table actually this judgment and energy whether or not to revisit a situation okay strong scorpio energy there for some of you <clears throat> celtic cross for gemini what's going on currently in gemini situation a high priestess mm-hmm piscean energy i feel like this is either Piscean energy or your energy. Um, this is who, whichever one. It could go vice versa, but I'm going to read it from your point of view because I'm doing the reading for you guys, okay? There's not been a lot of communication between the two of you. I feel like things have been very silent. And you're in your own separate corners here with this high priestess energy not sharing what you're thinking with this other person but thinking a whole lot so with that being said i'm feeling like this decision is in your lap basically this is something that you you're thinking about you're thinking about the emotional connection that you still have with someone but you're really not sure how you feel about it maybe things were kind of heated um somebody may have been emotionally immature maybe got angry a lot or either um this person was just overly emotional i feel either you or them overly emotional and not necessarily in a loving way could have been you know anger because the cups are just all about emotions didn't specify that it's love it's just an emotional state to be in as a king of cups and it came out sideways so something's not in balance is what you're thinking about where it wasn't in balance okay but I still see you guys kind of reconsidering this situation what's crossing Gemini three of swords disappointment broken heart disappointing situations um, I feel like there's something that is 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 hard for you to get past. There's something that happened with this person it that's that's hard for you to kind of maneuver your way through and really make a solid decision right now because you're still in that thinking mode. Um, trying to figure figure your way out and navigate through whatever disappointment, whatever heartache you felt where you felt like um, you know, things didn't work out the way that you felt like they they could have. Not that they should have, but they could have. Like, things could have worked out. If only, you know, this situation could have been more balanced between the two of you. That's an Aquarius energy there. <clears throat> What's the underlying issue for Gemini? Ten of Cups. You want to be happy. And I feel like you want that, that camaraderie with someone. You want that family dynamic. 
you want to be happy okay and I'm feeling like you know you don't want to sacrifice yourself for someone else but also at the same time I don't know if I think you're kind of rethinking whether or not you actually did sacrifice your happiness for this person because I'm getting the feeling that this person made you happy and maybe there were some things that disappointed you that hurt you but overall I'm feeling like this person um, they brought a lot of joy to your life at one point in time but things kind of went sideways I feel and maybe the relationship you know became toxic you know so another Piscean energy here <clears throat> the recent past for Gemini the tower there was a breakup instant out of the blue neither one of you probably was expecting this you guys probably had a heated argument and both of you probably were thinking that you know I didn't do anything wrong or this person needs to approach me and then you know the time just kinda got you know longer and longer till you guys end up not speaking whatsoever because there's so much distance emotionally between the two of you that um, it just kind of fell off and I feel like there's no contact here this was once very happy for you but I, I'm seeing that it ended because with the tens you know those are endings and then you start over with the ace of cups so definitely a relationship here that um, you know broke up unexpectedly for some of you here let's see Gemini's crowning thoughts any thoughts for Gemini? Any thoughts for Gemini? Six of Swords. I'm feeling you guys wanting to talk things out, wanting to move on, talk about what happened between the two of you, discuss that, and move on together. I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to really drive this ship um, and take that first step to say, hey, let's sit down and have a conversation. I'm seeing you wanting to have a conversation about some things that transpired between the two of you. Maybe some hurtful words were said. Okay, You definitely got strong Scorpio energy here. I feel a Scorpio or Aries and then Pisces Aquarius energy is present currently for you guys. What's coming in for Gemini? That card wants to jump so I'm going to take it. What's coming in is the Fool. I feel Aries Aquarius energy here. Taking that leap of faith and even though your heart's been broken you were disappointed by this situation before in the past. I feel like um, you guys have an opportunity to start over with this person but you you'll you'll need to have not only the faith that you can do this but have faith in the other person that they may possibly want to do this too okay um and I this is Aries card here but also I feel Aquarius here where this person has those those signs in their chart strongly. There's a chance to start over for sure. But and, and I don't I don't see you guys going into this blindly. I see more more so that this is somebody that brought you a lot of happiness. And even though things transpire between the two of you that were not like good you guys probably ended on like the worst terms but below that deeper than that there was a lot of love here there was a family dynamic I feel for a lot of you that you're missing and it's almost like you're saying to yourself I need to be the bigger person I may need to be the bigger person even though I feel like it's hard for you because I see that you were deeply hurt in a situation here <clears throat> how is Gemini feeling about their situation currently the Queen of Pentacles you're standing strong you're keeping it together I feel like you know right now you're more focused on your work because it kind of keeps your head space clear and now not like flooded with all these emotions you're handling your business 
your very material business and but I see that you also are wanting to care for this person want to nurture this relationship even though this is a queen <clears throat> This could be male or female, but I see you having um, an emotional reaction to this situation coming as the Queen of Pentacles, whether male or female, okay? So you're not just all in your head thinking about things from the past, but you also are showing a very emotional side right now. Even if you're not showing it to anybody else, you're feeling that. But you're very put together, very put together and trying to think logically about this situation, what can come out of this situation, what you can have with this person, wanting to take that leap of faith. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. What is the influence for Gemini? Knight of Cups, want to offer love, want to offer your affection. Feeling, I feel like excited about something here. I'm feeling that this is something, this Knight of Cups energy, this is something you've been holding in for a while. And it's like you're ready to, 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 to show this person. If you were unemotional or they felt like you were unemotional with them before, I see you ready to display your affection. You're ready to, ex did I say affection? Uh, <laughs> you're ready to display your affection to this person. If you were somebody that never said I love you, I feel you guys are ready to do that. I see you taking accountability in this situation. I'm wanting to take accountability in this situation actually. And I'm feeling too that you guys are not on a time frame but but feeling like in a hurry to do this for some reason there could definitely be somebody else that you feel is involved in this situation um maybe a case of you know not really really want to let this person give them enough time to be apart from you to get into another relationship even so yeah that's what i see here <clears throat> Hope for fears for Gemini. Eight of Swords. Wow. You really don't want to live in the past. And you don't want this person to live in the past either. I feel you guys just don't want to really discuss like... To stay in the past. To stay in past problems. Because the Eight of Swords is thinking about like things that happened in the past and kind of staying stuck there, bringing things up over and over again. And we all know that does not work. You have to talk through things and move forward. And I'm feeling that you guys are afraid that this person is not going to be able to come you know, to the present and be present with you and bring up things that have possibly happened from the past. Although I do see you guys kind of wanting to address some things that happened before or either this is you guys wanting to discuss, um, you know, maybe why you left or why they left just so you can get an understanding of the situation. But you don't want to like just continue to dredge up things is what I'm getting here is the fear. You don't want this person to do that. What is the overall outcome for... Gemini. Overall outcome for Gemini. Ten of Wands. Putting in the work. Doing what's necessary. I see you guys really wanting to basically take the initiative and whatever it is that you need to do, be willing to do it. I see this. A lot of you are going to say no. But, I see what I see. I see you guys wanting to put in the work. For the most part, most of you can't resonate with everybody. 
but there is definitely I feel somebody saying um, you know not really saying that we're both being like bullheaded but that this can't go on we can't get back together if we don't talk and this person's not you know making any moves towards me because maybe they are very stubborn because I did see the Empress under the bottom of the deck Aries Taurus energy very kind of like you know bullheaded stubborn and you may know this about this person and know that they're not going to approach you and feeling like you know I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm going to approach them this is how I see you guys like thinking in the upcoming month okay so again Aquarius we have um, Pisces Scorpio Aries energy is here Taurus Virgo Capricorn I feel more Taurus than anything um, and Sagittarius if I haven't said it already all right guys so that's what I have for you for the upcoming month and um, I'll speak with you soon bye now uh. I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?